Hi everyone, welcome back and happy Saturday. This is Mary and today I'm going to answer a question about the difference between the BERI VMI, which is BERI Visual Motor Integration, and the Test of Visual Motor Skills Assessment. Let's start with the BERI VMI. This is a fairly quick and easy assessment to administer, not taking more than 10 to 15 minutes for the full form. Now, there are supplemental tests that are timed if deemed necessary for the motor and perception component, but as a whole, it's an easy and quick assessment to administer, and it's culture-free because they're not looking at letters, uh, numbers, they're just looking at shapes and trying to replicate them. And as the name suggests, this assessment is looking specifically at integration, so how well your motor corresponds with what you are seeing. So it is administered in order of increasing difficulty. The child is given something as simple as a line and they are asked to copy it. And um, this is a widely used assessment for in schools because it helps determine eligibility for occupational therapy. And although handwriting is not a handwriting ability is not assessed through this assessment, it's also it's often used as an outcome measure for handwriting intervention because handwriting is often correlated with our hand-eye coordination. And uh, you do need a stopwatch for this assessment because uh, the supplemental tests are timed. Versus a test of visual motor skills is not timed. You don't need a stopwatch. And it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to administer. And uh, for those of you who have never administered this assessment, I just want to show you uh, a couple examples of the kind of things that are assessed here. So we're looking for errors and how in the, in what what is copied. So for here, you're looking at whether or not there have been a change in part or size. Is it too small, too large? You may look at the length of a line that is produced. Is it too long, too short? You're looking at the line quality. Uh, you're looking at whether or not there have been addition or deletion, so whether there have been parts that have been added or missing. You are looking also for angles. Is it rounded, pointy? Are the shapes rotated, reversed? Are you able to cross the line? Things like that. So in addition to just being able to copy, we're looking at distortions, gross distortions and inaccuracy in the form or shapes that have been produced. So it looks at motor control, motor coordination, accuracy, um, motor execution. Okay, so and specifically looking at those things. So this is also used for adults with TBI, stroke, Alzheimer's, apraxia, um, cognitive deficits, and none of this test is timed. So those are some differences between the BERI VMI and the uh, test of visual motor skills. Okay, I hope that was helpful and I'll see you guys all next week. Bye.